Hi, so here we are today with the Masuri Wind and Solar uh, new wind turbine 5 blade. Just unboxing it. Very new to this stuff, wind turbines and whatnot, but um, just received this in the UK. Uh, we ordered it from Masuri Wind and Solar a few days back. Then you can take over filming. Uh, we had it shipped on the priority service, so it arrived within three days from the US, which was uh, very good, very quick shipping. So here we have the carbon fiber blades. Can't actually see the uh, carbon kind of uh, pattern into them. It looks like they're more of a composite carbon rather than a. Well, they're all composite, I guess, but it looks a bit different. Mm. Doesn't look like your traditional carbon fibre bonnet. Although, I'm not sound good, but I can see that it was in We have a PMG something. <laughs> what is it? A PMG what? Bar? Bait? Bat? It's a box of bits by the time Bracket. Bracket. Right. Bracket. The bracket for mounting onto the pole, I guess. Mm. A five hub wah wah. <laughs> Which is the hard way. Guess the blade coats in. So you're going to have fun putting this together, Dan. <laughs> we have a wreck to farm. Five terminals, three phase in, DC out, I'm guessing. Made by Lu Jing Rectifier Company Limited. Focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One rectifier. And we have the supposed PS de resistance, the permanent magnet alternator, especially manufactured by Missouri Wind and Solar, with the greater content of copper and the windings, some clever uh, structuring of the magnets. And then some uh, clever slanting as well of the uh, piece within the car. Uh, nice polished housing. I'd be quite proud to put that on my car. It'll be a little bit more polished and it would uh, fit there. Actually, it looks like it might be a. Is it powder coated or is it straight polish? Straight polish with a lacquer on it, perhaps? No, it's polished, but it's polished with, um, I think it's polished with beads, by the look of it. Mm. You've got a three-phase output there, coming out the back of the alternator. Reasonably, reasonably tight to turn, I mean, not difficult, but not easy. So you can feel that there's a resistance. good bit of weight and a bit of resistance in there, there's nothing metal. Plastic world we live in. And finally, some other stuff. Which I have no idea what this is. I guess this is for. That's the back that. foil, wind foil, so it points yeah. in the right direction. Yeah. You're absolutely correct on this one. It's the wind. Of course, we've got a nice tribute to uh, Country of Origin. <laughs> You'd expect nothing less from the Americans. And these are heavy pieces, they're well manufactured by the looks of it, thick steel. We've got a bit of sawdust in there, which I presume is the something from rusting. Hmm. Hold some of the oil? What's that for? No, they were they were gonna do that, they greased everything up there. The way they've been cut. No, I think the wood back skin is or? left the box open and it's got full of sawdust. That could also be an option. 
Or a DHL van of half a pallet of it on there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I guess this goes backwards like that. Hmm. And then. <laughs> <laughs> <take> care of that. <laughs> and then, this piece <laughs> goes up here somewhere. <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> to make sure you're tailing the right way. Okay, so that was the unboxing. Tune in for more videos as we attempt to build it and uh, make it work. Thank you so much.